Hey Disney fans, today I'll be teaching you how to make your very own unique pair of floral mini mouse ears. Let's jump in by grabbing your materials. You'll need fake flowers, a headband, black fabric, a hot glue gun, a needle and thread, scissors, cotton balls, a pencil, and a cup. You'll also need a styrofoam poster board like this. Start out by cutting a rectangle off the corner of the poster board. This is all we'll be using. I found it was easier and more precise to use an X-Acto knife to cut this material. Then take a cup or any other circular item about three and a half inches in diameter to measure our circles for our ears with. I got an app to help me out with this part. Go ahead and trace two circles, then cut them out, and these will be the base for our ears. Once you're done cutting, you'll just be able to pop them out just like this. And once you have both done, you can go ahead and take your headband and remove any sort of decoration that it may have on it so that it's plain. Next, place the styrofoam circles so that they overlap with the headband wherever you would like your ears to lay. Trace out where they overlap with the headband, then cut out the sections so that the circles can lay flat on the headband. Once you've removed those sections, go ahead and lay that against the headband to make sure that it lays nicely. If you're looking for black fabric, I got this from Walmart for only about 97 cents, and you're going to unfold it and see that there are squares already formed from the folds. You will only need four of these squares, so cut out a section that you can work with, and you can see here that I have four squares. Next, take your glass and trace out a circle to cut out. It's important to leave about an inch of extra fabric around the outside of the circle while cutting. Along one side, make the cut straight across. I chose to do this along the fold. You can definitely just fold the squares together and cut all your circles out at once. It's much easier that way. Now that you have your four circles ready, cut a long strip a couple inches wide from your fabric. This will be used to cover the headband width. Once your hot glue gun is heated up, go ahead and hot glue the outside of your headband and then roll it onto the strip of fabric. Continue doing this until the end and then wrap the sides around as neatly as you can. I recommend going the easier route and just buying a black headband, but this is what you can do if this is all that you have. Next, take some cotton balls and your styrofoam circle and stretch the cotton so that it covers the circle. I used four to five cotton balls and created a dome shape to cover my circle with. Set the cotton aside for a moment to glue your circle and then push the cotton on top. This will make our ears more puffy and 3D. Once you're done with that, you can set it aside and then grab the black circles and put them together so that they match up. I find it easiest to thread a needle by pinching the thread between my fingers and running the needle between. Then you're going to want to pull your thread all the way through and cut it at the end and at this point it's doubled up and you're going to want to tie it at the end so that when we pull our thread through it doesn't go all the way through and that it stops at the knot. We are creating a very simple stitch along the outside by going in and out and weaving through a few times and then pulling the thread through. You will repeat this along the outside until you reach about three-fourths of the way around the circle. Make sure that once you're done weaving in and out that you pull the fabric apart so that it doesn't bunch up. Taking a closer look, you can see I'm just going in and out and weaving through and then pulling it through. Now that we're about three-fourths of the way around the circle, go ahead and finish it off by tying a knot and cutting off the excess. Next, flip this inside out so that you create a pouch with the seam on the inside. Take your circle with the cotton attached and put it on the inside of the pouch. Once you're done stuffing it inside, you're going to sew up the rest of the ear. 
For the remaining part of the circle, go in on one side and out the other and then loop around to the other side. And you're going to repeat this process all the way down. And if you wanted to create pleats like I did here, just pinch a couple of places in the fabric and then sew it in the middle. Continue sewing to seal the rest of the ear and then finish it off and cut off the excess. Then go ahead and place the ears onto your headband in whatever way you think is best. Next, secure your ears on using hot glue and press down very hard to make sure that they don't come off. You can reinforce the back by using more hot glue if you wish. Now we just have some plain mouse ears and you can decorate them however you wish, but I'm going to use flowers. Be sure that when cutting off the flowers, you cut as close to the flower as possible. Next, just put some hot glue on the back of the flower and press it hard onto the headband and make sure that it's very secure. Continue adding flowers with whatever pattern you would like. I added purple, white, orange, and yellow and it ended up looking really cute. You want to start and end the flowers not much past the ears. When the front is done, you can choose to leave it as is, but I decided to go to the back as well to make it look more neat. I just used the orange flowers on the back because they were my favorite, and I just put them across like I did the first flowers. And that's it! I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY and that you wear these to Disneyland like I did. Comment down below what other Disney related items you would like to see me make, and as always, thanks for watching! Thank you.